another episode of Cooking with Dad. What we're going to do today is something that we did similar to what we did just a few days ago, which is cooking on the solar oven. But I'm cooking something different today. The wife picked up a meatloaf. Can y'all see that? From Sprouts. I don't know if that makes it healthy or not. If y'all can see that. So, it is uh, about what time? What time is it, wife? 10 39. And I'm going to take this thing out there. I got the solar oven preheating right now. I'm going to take this um, meatloaf out there and I'm going to put it in there and we're going to cook it until it's ready to eat. I don't know exactly um, how long that's going to be because I can't read the small print even with glasses on. Uh, but we're supposed to have sunlight for, oh gosh, I think until like one or two. And, uh, but it's about 40 degrees outside. So uh, let's go out here. I'm gonna bring you with me as I head out to the solar bar oven. All right, here we go. Like I said, it's about 40 degrees outside. And um, I just dropped one of my guys off at a big job that he's doing. It's a big pressure washing job, but I don't have to. Uh, whew, I know that's going to kill you there. Um, I don't need to be there. So uh, I decided to come home and cook for you. So those of you, um, you know something too, when I was, I was thinking about this, when I was driving back um, from dropping him off. One of the things that I did, um, you know, when you go out on these jobs, you um, sometimes we don't have, you know, um, power or whatever, a lot of different things that go on. And so I dropped him off and he's got his phone out there, but his phone was almost dead. And I've got a little solar panel that I uh, picked up from Harbor Freight and I have never used that the way I did. I hooked up the 12 volt little uh, cigarette lighter thing to it, hooked his phone up to it, and it was charging it. Freaking cool. Now, but what I was really going, going down, the path I was going down was, you could take this solar oven, sit it out there and do the same thing. Um, you could cook lunch. You know, I mean, obviously if we've got a day like today and you can see from the shadow and everything behind me, the sun is shining. Now it's it's chilly outside. I got a jacket on and all that. Um, it's probably in the 40s and it's kind of windy. So I'm really curious to see what this bad boy is going to do. So we're going to cook the Sprouts meatloaf from Sprouts. All right, let's see. Extra lean ground beef, water, meatloaf, blah, 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 crackers, something, 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 and some other stuff. It's some cheese and some stuff. Contains wheat, egg, milk, soybeans, and garlic. Ha <laughs> I love garlic. Now, it says bake at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes per pound. Or to 180 no, 160 degrees internal temperature. Tomatoes may cause pink color. Okay. So what we got is 1.775 pounds. So there we go. All right. We're going to get started. I'm going to take this thing apart and put it in there, and we're going to get started. So y'all hang tight. Here we go. Another cooking video. It is 11.32. If y'all can see that, Ooh, there we go, 11.32, and I'm walking out here to check and see how our little cook's going. I'll check the temperature. Let's see here. If y'all, see if you can see that. I don't know if you can see through the, the, uh, oh, where are you at? Where are you? Where are you? Can't really tell. I'm just kind of shining it through there, but... It is at 275 degrees. Isn't that cool? 
That is freaking cool. I'm sorry, but that's just cool. Oops, sorry. Um, just by the sun <clears throat> and a black box and some reflectors. 275 degrees, 1130. What time do we start? 1030? I can't remember. So about an hour. Um, it was 1.75 pounds and I think, what, what was it, like an hour per pound? Um, so we're going to be... And we're only 275 and I think it was 350. So it's probably going to be about a three hour cook. I'm looking to see right now. I'm, I'm saying we're golden on, uh, on the uh, sun. I'll probably have to start moving it around a little bit. I found the sunny spot, <clears throat> as you can see, whoops, let's go to the other side. As you can see, as the shadows get closer, you know, I'll have to move it around a little bit, but that's easy to move it around. That's if it gets to it, because the sun at 11:30, uh, it's not directly in the southern sky, but uh, it's moving across. So, well, there we are. Whoops! I keep wanting to put my. Y'all can see it. Can you see it? Can you see it? Where's my finger? Right there. The meatloaf. All right, y'all hang tight. All right, guys. Uh, looks like the sun has pretty much whew, gone out. And if you look up at the sky, you can see that we have got clouds everywhere. So, I got my little tripod here. I'm gonna come out here and check and see where we are. Yep, we have dropped down. This was going to be my concern when I got started with it. Yeah, see, we're at 150 degrees. Let's do a quick check and see where we're at. I'm going to take it in anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these off. I'm just curious to see what our internal temperature is. I'm going to put it in the oven and finish it off on the inside anyway. See what kind of heat. It's still pretty warm in here. Get this thing out of the way. I'm just curious. Here's our little Chinese uh, thermostat or thermometer I keep saying thermostat get this one off Amazon I'll put a link down at the bottom I'll put a link also for the Solivore as well if you want to grab yourself one from Amazon Yowza, that is pretty hot yeah that says 150 Woo! you look at that let's see what we get 98, 123, 135, 45, I believe we need to get to 160, um, and we are at 161 and climbing, 165, 166, 165, 166, 167. I'm going to get that so you can see it. This is not an instant timer, but it's also a super, super cheap 171. So, looks like we still got what we were shooting for, which is a cooked meal. There we go. 175. And you can see it all cooked in the solar cooker. So, <laughs> you know what comes next? Pitmaster Privilege. You get to try it. I hope y'all like it. I wish y'all had some smell of vision. 
Hang tight. I'm gonna get her inside and we're gonna give her a bite. All right, as you see, holding steady, 173 degrees. I'm gonna get that, was it 173? I'm gonna sh get it real quick. The, I know you can see it. It drop. Oh, it drops fast. It, goes, it drops a lot faster than it goes up. But three dollars and fifty cents, Amazon. And uh, so you know what? It has worked. All right. What we got to do now is we got to get ourselves a bite of this stuff. Now, for any of you that are vegetarians, look the other direction. But you can make a vegetarian uh, one if you'd like. That is kind of gross right there. Mm. I like it a lot. Mm, that's good. Now, as I said earlier, I didn't make this one, but I cooked it. So, this is the meatloaf from uh, Sprouts Farmer's Market or something like that. Good stuff. I don't know what it cost. I don't remember. The wife bought it. And I cooked it. So that means I get to eat it. Or some of it. But mainly, my mom always said don't talk with your mouth full. Okay, post-production, Doug. My mom always did say don't talk with your mouth full. I'm going to summarize today's cook. Temperatures... 40, 45 degrees outside. You could see that the stove got to 275, probably stayed there for a couple hours. Clouds rolled in, temp you know, temperature came down. But by that time, the um, meatloaf had gotten, you know, where it needed to be. So, today's cook, I'm going to say two thumbs up for the Solovar solar oven. And I'm also going to say... Two thumbs up for the um, meatloaf from Sprouts. It was really good, and we'll finish the rest of it off for dinner tonight. What I would love for you to do, if you have a Solovar and you've cooked, you know, on it, uh, love to get your opinion and you know your site that you have. If you have a YouTube channel, I'd love to know about it. Please subscribe to mine. I'm going to be cooking all kinds of stuff. I don't do as much as. You know, you have to work every once in a while, and that causes problems <laughs> for your YouTube channel. But um, I'd love to, you know, see what you're cooking and how you're cooking it, and, you know, maybe you get a chance to uh, see mine. So also, you know, hit the little bell, and I guess it'll be either that corner or that corner where you can um, subscribe to my channel. And in one of those two corners... It's like my two thumbs up thing. One of those two corners as well will be the playlist for my cooking. Um, and I do a lot of different types of cooking from, you know, I've got obviously smokers. I have flat top, blackstone, um, griddles, pizza oven, all kinds of stuff. I like to cook. So um, it's one of my things that I do. But... Um, you know, like it, share it. If you'd like to get one, if you don't have a solo bar and you'd like to get one, um, there's going to be a link down in the description page. Just look down there. And then if you, where did it go? Oh, heck. I don't know what I did with it. Um, if you would like to get one of those cheap thermometers, um, I'll put a link to that as well. And uh, you can get it from Amazon, and they'll have it delivered to you in no time. Except for the thermometer, it'll probably take a month because it, I guess, has to come ac across the ocean on a boat from China. And it was like $2.50. So, But anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day, and keep on cooking.